Hi, I'm Steve Wahlberg, the director of Whitehorse Media, and I'm part of the team that created this card that you just scanned. A lot of intriguing information, don't you think? On one side, you see the Holy Ten Commandments, which the Bible says were actually written with the finger of God. The bad news is that we've all broken these commandments, every one of them. But the good news is that nearly 2,000 years ago, just outside the city of Jerusalem on a lonely hill, a man named Jesus Christ suffered for our sins when he hung on a cruel cross. The Bible says that he took the penalty for our sins in our place. And because of that incredibly unselfish act, now God can legally forgive all of our sins and give us a fresh new start so we can return with his help to live a grateful life of obedience to his holy law. On the back is a panorama of scenes that reveal Bible history, starting at the beginning of the world, going all the way down to the end of time. It starts with God creating our world in six days and then resting on the seventh day. After Adam and Eve sinned, our maker gave supernatural visions and dreams to certain people that he called prophets, who saw strange symbols and beasts representing the rise and the fall of mighty nations like Babylon, Persia, Greece, and Rome. At the center of history, we see the Savior of the world hanging on a cross, which was also a fulfillment of biblical prophecy to demonstrate the depths of God's love for lost sinners like you and me and his plan to win our hearts back to a deep relationship with him. After Jesus died, he rose from the dead and he ascended to heaven. And now he is up there interceding for us before God's throne. Soon, and none know how soon, Christ's intercession for Ten Commandment breakers will come to an end, and then he will, he will return to this earth again, but this time in blazing apocalyptic glory. Then fallen human history will come to a final fiery end. At Whitehorse Media, our goal is to arrest people's attention with this intriguing card and to help others to get ready for the big day. You will see links on this card to various television ministries that can help you understand these very truths. Whitehorse Media, the creators of this card, also have, we also have some incredible resources to help you to understand the big picture, along with ancient biblical prophecies that are actually being fulfilled right in front of our eyes. We especially recommend, first of all, my inexpensive book called Approaching Armageddon. Discover Hope Beyond Earth's Final Battle. This book is now available as a book, as an ebook, as an audiobook, and as a video course. If you want to go deeper and learn more about the intriguing symbols of Bible prophecy in Daniel and Revelation, we recommend this book called The Bloody Woman and the Seven Headed Beast. This is a deep study of Revelation chapter 17. And then we also have another book called The 666 Beast Identified, which is a real uh, page turner and you'll need lots of seatbelts when you read this book. If you wanna learn more about the true Bible Sabbath, which goes all the way back to the beginning of the world, which number four of the 10 commandments tells us to keep, we recommend this book, The Truth About the Sabbath, Proof That the Seventh Day, Saturday, is Still God's Holy Day. Just click the links below this video for all the information that you need. We deeply appreciate those who support our ministry and that makes it possible for us to mass produce and distribute this beautiful five by eight stunning card. In these confusing days, we all need hope, we need solid information, we need truth, and we need God's help and grace and love to carry us through these challenging times before Jesus Christ returns. From all of us at Whitehorse Media, we hope that this card will be a doorway for you into peace, happiness, and eternal life. You can also contact us through the links below this video, and you can watch more of our videos on our Whitehorse Media YouTube channel. The last chapter of the Bible, which is uh, the book of Revelation chapter 22, in verse 10, it says, do not seal the prophecies of this book for the time is at hand. Thanks so much for scanning the QR code on this card and for watching this video. Bye for now.